Hey guys, Peter here. Um, so, it is AEW Dynamite Grand Slam tonight. Um, I missed the first few minutes of the show, I'm very sorry about that guys. But from what I've seen so far, we've got Brian Danielson versus Kenny Omega opening the fucking show. And we've got Brett Baker versus Ruby Soho in the main event. Uh, fuck yes. Uh, so far, the, uh, Daniel Bra uh, the Brian Danielson versus Kenny Omega match is fucking brilliant so far, from what I've seen. So uh, we're going to carry on watching it and see what it's like. So we just had Brian Danielson versus Kenny Omega in the opening contest, and holy shit, this match was great. It was a draw. Fans were not happy about the draw, but I am. Because it saves two, it saves them from basically giving away the, the win for free. So I kind of like that decision. I think it was a really good decision from uh, Tony Khan to do the draw. Hopefully, at the end of it, people will understand why they're doing the draw. But it was actually very entertaining. To be fair, this match was really fucking nuts. Just the, the strikes and the hard hitting, and just everything involved in this was like fucking mental. Brian can still fucking go, like Jesus Christ. Um, the fucking dragon sleeper off the top rope, fuck me, but just the knee strikes, the fucking elbow strikes. This was a hard hit match. This is the best way for Daniel Bryan, uh, Brian Danielson to come back. This was awesome. As soon as I knew that the commercial break was happening, I knew this was going to be a draw, but you know what? It's going to work because that now it's like, who actually could get the win? Who could actually stop Kenny Omega? Can it be Brian Danielson? Because they did go to a time limit draw and nobody's been able to do that. Now, yeah, it was on, Ram uh, it was on Dynamite, but at the same time, that is impressive no matter what. So we're going to be hearing from CM Punk about his first match ever, on, well, his first match on uh, Rampage, uh, his first match in seven years on television, but isn't a pay-per-view, so we'll be hearing from him. Uh, we've still got like Malachi Black and Cody Rhodes uh, coming up. We've got the main event, which I've already said is Ruby Soho versus Britt Baker, DMD. Oh, Ruby Soho versus Britt Baker in the main event. I'm looking forward to that one, I'm going to admit. So, uh, yeah, let's hear from CM Punch and see what our next matchup is. Ah, oh, impassioned punk is best punk. I love CM Punk when he's on the mic. He is the king of the mic. And he proved it tonight again why he is that person. He talks about his passion. He talks about wanting to be here. He talks about wanting to understand that no matter what goes on... Stephen Amell's in the crowd! Fuck yeah! Awesome! Stephen Amell's in the crowd! That's cool! But he talks about his passion. He talks about how they should have finished the job. They should have broke his neck. They should have made sure that he didn't arrive in Arthur Ashe Stadium because they have fucked up royally. And on Rampage, Powerhouse Hobbs goes to sleep. Jesus H. Christ, this promo was fucking amazing. And this has been an hour, ladies and gentlemen. Like, it's been 15 minutes, and we've had two things. The fucking brilliant Danielson vs. Omega match, and that promo. And we're going to have MJF vs. Brian Pillman Jr. coming up. Like, the beginning of that match is going to be happening now, from uh, going into the second half of the show. But... Fuck me, what a promo. Like, that, that is why Punk is damn good on the mic. I have to admit that one, guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, MJF versus Brian Pumer Jr. is next. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Of course, I completely forgot to mention about the uh, agreement that AEW uh, has with the Owen Hart Foundation. Completely forgot about that. Uh, so, as I've said, uh, Owen Hart, the Owen Hart Foundation was set up by the, I believe, the, own, the actual family of Owen Hart, um, and AEW and them have come to an agreement, uh, there's going to be a tournament in Owen Hart's name, if I recall, there's also 
in the in the mix some opportunities for merchandise and possibly Owen Hart being in the AEW console game. Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, we'll be hearing more in the weeks and months to come. But uh, it's finally appropriate that AEW has been able to bring the memory of Owen Hart back into professional wrestling and for it to be signed off by the Hart family more specifically Owen Hart's family is incredible in my opinion I mean it just shows just how passionate and caring AEW really is to the legacy of professional wrestling in my personal opinion and of course there are going to be people being like oh meh, 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 meh. This is disgusting. Fuck you. This is, you know, it's their choice. If they want to do it, then let them do it. You know, at the end of the day, I feel like that this is the best way to bring back Owen Hart. And WWE have not done anything in fucking years. So, yeah, fuck off. W you know, WWE has just fucked up again royally. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to MJF versus Brian Pillman Jr. Because right now, this has been entertaining. And I will talk about it in just a moment. So, we just had MJF versus Brian Pillman Jr. This was a really good matchup, actually. This was a great coming out for Brian, Pil uh, for Brian Pillman. Yeah, Brian Pillman Jr. Um, very entertaining. I mean, the guy can fucking wrestle. Um, MJF, obviously, being the bastard heel, you know, he, he plays that role to a fault. He is really good at it. Um, tries to get uh, Julia Hart involved uh, at one point, but luckily that doesn't happen. Uh, but the solid of gets the win for MJ. I feel really bad. I feel like Brian should have gone the win. It would have been really nice to see that. Uh, but it was a really good matchup between uh, those two. Then we had Jericho and J.K. talking about the men, on, men of the year. <laughs> More like boys of the week. Fucking love Pega. Uh, and basically Jericho mentioning Haku and uh, biting the guy's nose off in Japan, which actually happened. Holy crap. Uh, but now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Malachi Black versus Cody Rhodes. Oh, for fuck's sake, please do not let Cody Rhodes win this match. Have Malachi Black win. Come on. Let's watch this match. Okay, motherfucker still reminds me of fucking Homelander. Cody Rhodes, obviously. But I can't have to admit, I like what Brody did, so... um. Malachi obviously does the old springboard into the uh, sit down and he basically does it normally and just does that which I think is fucking brilliant but then all of a sudden Brandy just gets to the ring sits down and just goes fuck you and Cody tries to get involved it's like fuck you Cody you fucking heel bastard the crowd are shitting on Cody Rhodes they are playing up the whole land they give it to a T in this because he just looks like it. You know, he looks like fucking Homelander, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but let's carry on watching the match, shall we? No, not a fan of that finish. Fan of the match, not a fan of the finish. Needs spit in the needs to spray something in the eyes of Cody to make the low blow happen. So Cody, so basically, Cody runs into Arn Anderson at the end. Which is like, okay, fine, fair enough, you know, that's happened, just finish the match. Malachi Black drinks something, whatever it is. And then literally, ban. Ooh, we've got Miro versus Sammy Kavala for the TNT title next week. Fuck yes. Anyway, so, spacing in his eyes, low, you know, roll up, one, two, three, referee gets hit as well. Which is like, uh, yeah, just, I'm not a fan of it. Like, that match, I'm not a fan of it. But the match, I liked. Finish, uh, I don't feel right off. So, sorry about ending it abruptly, guys. Um, the match was good. Don't get me wrong. Malachi Black vs. Cody is good. The finish is just bad. I don't understand why he needed to cheat to win. Especially with spraying in the eyes after be after beating Cody clean back at uh, homecoming uh, for AEW Dynamite. I don't get it. Um... I mean, if this match is going to go further, then fair enough. I mean, if Cody's going to lose this feud, then I'm all for it. If it's the way that he's going to turn heel, then alright, fair enough. And play up the um, Homelander more. That'll be cool. But at the same time, you just... No! You, come on, you don't need to fucking cheat to win Malachi Black. All you need is that... All you need is the fucking kicking that's it. Um, 
it was a good match again. I mean, I'm looking forward to fucking Sam Guevara versus Miro next week. If I can watch it, that'll be a damn good match. Uh, but yeah, next up it's FTR with Tully Blanchard versus Sting and Darby Allen. Let's do this. So we just had Sting and Darby Allen taking on FTR. Um, I can have to admit this was an okay tag team matchup. I mean, do I really want to see Sting on Dynamite? Not particularly, if I'm honest. But I have seen him on pay per view, so I can't really in complain. But I mean, this was okay. I mean, it wasn't anything bad. It was decent. I mean, they hid a lot of items and they hid a lot of things. And it kind of worked. I mean, it's really good that this happened. Um, it's okay. It's one of those things. Um, but it was it was a decent matchup. It was entertaining to a degree. Sting gets the win with the death uh, death lock. And yeah, you know, if it furthers this feud, then it furthers the feud at the end of the day. And you know what? It was a de it was a good matchup to say the least. Uh, Rolls to the top is next Wednesday. Don't really give a fuck about it. No offense, it's just a rip off of Mr. and Mrs. or fucking Total Divas. It's nothing to be bothered about if I'm honest with you. But Ruby Soho versus Brett Baker main event. Let's do this, guys. So we just had Brett Baker versus Ruby Soho in the main event, and it was a slow build. Granted, it was a bit of a slow build, but it got there and it picked up, and it was really good. Until the fucking finish with Rebel and Jamie Hater. Fuck me. I do not like it when they get involved. I really don't. So, match was really good. Soho looked amazingly well. Yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit uh, between who should win and who should get the win. But at the same time, it's like this match was really good. It got to the point where it was like, okay, this is actually going to be a really good main event. And it was. But until Rebel got, got involved and then Jamie Hayder got involved, it just lost me. I, I was like, oh, really? We're going to have fucking, we're going to have Ruby Soho lose. Like, we knew she was going to lose. No offense to her. She was. But at the same time, it's like, are you fucking kidding me the way she lost? No, that is bad. So, Rebel gets involved. Ruby manages to get the kick. Jamie gets involved, handman on the rope, and then turns into the lockjaw. I mean, yeah, you don't want to do a bit of a screwy finish, but at the same time, it's like, oh, why? But, ladies and gentlemen, what I think of the show overall, it was a good show. Do not get me wrong. It was a, it was a bloody good show. Brian Danielson versus Omega. Oh my God, that was awesome. Like half an hour straight. That was good. The fans shat on it, but we don't get a rematch. We are going to get a rematch one day, and that's going to be amazing. Uh, worst match of the night? Just because I am i don't really want to see Sting anymore. Sting and FTR. Uh, Sting, Darby Allen, and FTR. It was a decent tag team match, but I just don't want to see it anymore, guys. So, with that being said, that is AEW Dynamite. Grand Slam out of sight. And next week, guys... Mero versus Sammy Duvall for the TNT title. I'm looking forward to it. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Sorry about the video dump we have done today. We've done like five videos today, guys. I'm very sorry about that. But thank you very much. I will have a link in the description. Uh, I will have a card right here, somewhere down here, for the part one and hopefully part two of the CWS episode 90, uh, 103. And hopefully in the card up here, I will have a video link to episode 101 part one of the classic wrestling series as well guys so take care ttfn qatar for